it's me, Ross Matthews. Hi, it's Ross Matthews. She's Ross Rapid Fire Ross. Ross. I'm here with Helen Deltry, Hilton Carter, Zoe Francois, Lindsay Karowski, Jenny Yolo. I'm gonna ask you questions that, you know, really don't even deserve to be asked, but we're gonna have fun. What is your worst baking fail? Delivering a wedding cake. The cake collapsed no. on the way to a wedding, and I still have like a physical response whenever I think of it. Uh -huh. <laughs> what is the best dessert you've ever tasted? So depending on my mood, it's probably devil's food cake mm. covered in maybe a coffee buttercream or, and ice cream. Cake and ice cream. I oh my God, that's so simple. I feel like even this conversation is off my diet. What is one tip to help people out there who just want to try it? Okay, okay, so it's not an entirely sexy answer, but getting a kitchen scale. It like changes the entire game because then everything is always consistent. It's actually less cleanup mm -hmm. and everything just comes out better. And one final question, be honest. Do you watch yourself on Zoe Bakes? Okay, I don't watch myself, but my kids and my dogs are often on the show, and I do love to see them on the show. Okay. So, yes, I watch it. Just be honest, you watch yourself. Who isn't watching you? Thank you, Zoe. Wow, you are tall. Okay, that's better. That's better. I'm gonna ask you rapid fire questions about houseplants. Bring it. How do you keep one alive, because I can't do it? Well, I would say love, mm. patience, mm -hmm. Probably a bit of tenderness. Mm. You did say, how do you keep a relationship alive, right? No, it's plant, but thank you. That's all good takeaway for relationships or plants. Should I be afraid of Venus flytraps? Because I saw a Little Shop of Horrors and it scarred me. Love Little Shop of Horrors. One of my favorite films. Unless you are a fly, I don't think you need to be afraid. They uh, help remove some of those gnats. A lot mm -hmm. of people have gnats when they have houseplants. Mm -hmm. They can remove those from the environment in your home. What is your all-time favorite Texas barbecue? Pulled pork, mm -hmm. mashed potatoes, Yes. macaroni and cheese. Okay, that's, okay, it's adding up now, it's a lot. I'm a big guy. Understood. Jalapeno cornbread. What? Holla at me. All right, that's a cut, lunch. <laughs> Would you rather stay in a, in a hotel or a motel and what's the difference? Great question, motel all the way. Why? Always. First of all, I drive everywhere. I drove here. It took me 20 hours to get here. I'm a driver. I like to park the car in front. Um, you know, in Los Angeles, it takes you 20 hours to get anywhere, you know. Yeah, I live there, and yes, it does. Uh -huh. You're correct. As you are traveling around, as you're looking at different hotels and motels, what's a trend that needs to go? Oh, this is a great question. I hate a popcorn ceiling. I think everyone does. Mm -hmm. Oh, the carpet. Listen, the carpet that has the design in it so you can't see that your kids like puked everywhere. Yeah. Ew. Yeah, that's terrible. Do carpet, tile, or hardwood. Do you watch yourself? I'd like to be cool and say no, but yes, I absolutely yeah. do. Yes, you absolutely <laughs> do. Who wouldn't? What's the number one tip for people who are looking at that wall or that project and thinking, uh-huh. Paint. Really? Gotta use paint. Paint's cheap. It's easy. Uh, you can fix it relatively. Like with, it's not like a ton of commitment. Mm -hmm. And you can grab a paintbrush. You can just start splotching on some stuff and make some wallpaper looking. I do that in the workshop. Really? Yeah. What's the color right now that you would recommend? Like the hot color of the moment. I, I mean, dark colors like a dark maroon, a dark plum, something like that. What's different about Texas design? I mean, we're here in Waco. Do you bring in sort of Texas into your, your DIY and your home decor? I've done a little shiplap in my houses, yeah. but I like doing it vertical. I, I to do it a little bit different than the Texas style, but. Oh. Can you spell Texas backwards? Oh, well, this is like my nightmare from like middle school, uh, spelling bee, S-A-S-E-S-A-X. -E <laughs> E-T. You got it. You got it. You got it. Thanks so much. Everyone watch Handcrafted Home Projects, Jenny Yolo on Magnolia. Let me ask you a question about flowers. Uh, carnations, tacky or underrated? Love them. See? Love them. See? They last forever, mm -hmm. come in all sorts of colors. They get a bad rap, but they're, they're one of my faves. So many times I get flowers and then like I feel like a day later they're already wilted. So what can we do? to keep our flowers to last longer. Well, you know what? You gotta think about it. Like, would you wanna be sat in stagnant water? Change that water every day, mm -hmm. give them a little snip, maybe change them. If they're in direct light, take them out of direct light. All right, and what do you do to keep it fresh on Arden Bloom? That's a good question. I try and challenge myself. So we've changed it up. We're trying to do something different for each episode. Give people new skill sets to take away. Mm. Yeah, not too, 
put too much pressure on yourself. See, I think people bring so much pressure when they're trying to make things beautiful, but it can be easy, it can be fun, and it can be doable, and you're showing us how to do it. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, my absolute pleasure.